Hey guys, welcome in. Garbage Time Sports, Joe Shad going solo. Wanted to give you a little weekend preview of week four of the college football season. This looks like a fun one. We definitely got some very fun matchups that we need to talk about. There's going to be some good games. We got some sneaky fun games. And, of course, I got a couple of picks for you as well. You got NC State going at Clemson. We'll see what Clemson really has. Not that NC State's actually any good this year. We saw them get their doors blown off by Tennessee. But Clemson has played one game outside of that Georgia game that got crushed. This is going to be at least a test they played Georgia, the number one, number two team in the country, and they played a Cupcake State. NC State, a nice proving ground. Let's see what Clemson actually has this year. Let's see if Cade Klubnick can actually move the ball a little bit on a legitimate defense, to say the least, about NC State. Kansas and West Virginia, two one-and-two teams, both sides felt like they had higher aspirations of being one and two at this point they both were hoping to get to nine wins this year let's see which one of those programs is legitimate if either one is going to be able to turn around the winner of that game is probably going to be that team usc at michigan is a fun one this is absolutely a big rivalry game these two schools do not like each other and now they're conference foes i like that about conference realignment i like how we have more bigger games like this michigan officially goes with alex orgy as their quarterback he's not a good thrower of the football but he is an absolute athlete he can run with the best of them and that's tough to stop in college football that 11-man run game that qb power game having that in your arsenal and then throwing it just enough to be able to win games that's a recipe that can win you a lot of games michigan is still a big physical team they have a fantastic front seven don't let that texas game fool you too much michigan still has a fantastic defense the secondary is a little weak but a fantastic front seven for michigan and then we all saw usc play against lsu we know what they are they are miller moss they are good wide receivers they're a solid enough o-line and they well very much improved defensive team michigan's not explosive michigan wants to play ball control michigan wants to try to win this game with field position and defense we'll see if their secondary can hold up against the usc trojans should be a heck of a scene in Michigan at the big house. It'll be a lot of fun to watch. But I'd like to go on the record and say that I like the move for Michigan going with Alex Orgy. Get Warren out of there. Your team is not built for him. I know Alex Orgy cannot throw the ball very well, but if you're that special of an athlete, you don't have to throw you don't have to have an arm like CJ Stroud or Patrick Mahomes. You just need to be good enough. If you're that athletic, you can make some things happen. Should be a fun one. I'll be tuning in. Obviously, I can't wait. Another fun one, we got Utah going into Oklahoma State. My main note on this game is, are we allowed to call this game Cowboys versus Indians? Are we allowed to do that? The Cowboys versus the Utes. This is Cowboys and Indians. This is childhood, your favorite game, running around with your toy gun shooting your brother. This is Cowboys and Indians. As far as these two teams go, Oklahoma State, best offensive line in the country. OK State always comes to play when it's actually Big 12 conference play. They kind of play with their food in the non-con, but here we go, conference play. That's right, conference opponent, Utah in the Big 12. Is Cam Rising back? Is he not back? I don't know. Utah's much better with Cam Rising than without Cam Rising. We know that. This is going to be a fun game, but mostly just wanted to get that joke off. This is Cowboys and Indians, right? Tennessee at Oklahoma. On paper, this looks like a fun one. This looks like a high-powered offense against a very solid, very good Oklahoma defense in Norman. Oklahoma getting their first real taste of SEC competition. They get them at home. Big game, number seven, number 15. This game's going to be awesome, right? I don't think it's going to be awesome. I think Tennessee is going to eat. I think Tennessee is going to win by three-plus scores. I think Tennessee is going to absolutely run Oklahoma off the field. I saw a hilarious tweet today from a Tennessee Twitter account with a picture of Oklahoma Stadium. And the caption was, where's the rest of your stadium? It was, Oklahoma does not have that big of an arena compared to some of these SEC schools, especially Tennessee. Tennessee will have no intimidation factor walking in to Oklahoma at night. There will be none. They're used to much bigger and better things. No offense to the Oklahoma Sooners. The Oklahoma Sooners are going to be a solid, fine team this year, but they have a tough schedule. They don't have as much talent as the rest of the top of the SEC. Tennessee has looked like absolute gold coming out of the gates here. Their offense is electric. This is my number one nuclear missile whale play sort of bet. 
Give me Tennessee. Lay the seven. No problem. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Right now I'm six and four with my college football bets. That one hopefully making me seven and four. But give me Tennessee. Give me Tennessee big. Nico has been as advertised as well as a run game that can eat you up, and they're very solid on defense as well. Got a very good defensive line led by, I think his name's Pierce, top 10 type NFL draft pick. Really, really good team. I like Tennessee. I like Tennessee in the SEC. We'll see what they can do later on in the year. But in this game specifically, yeah, volunteers roll over the Sooners. Something that you can't go through without mentioning. You got Iowa coming into Minnesota. That's a fantastic rivalry. I I live in Minnesota. These two states do not like each other. That's always a good game. That's always a big game, especially for these two states. It's going to be ugly. It's going to be defensive. Both teams don't have a great offense. We know how Iowa games go. It's going to be ugly. It's not going to be the most fun watch. But if you're there in person, those pads are going to be cracking. That one will be a lot of fun to watch in the stadium. And those two schools, those two teams, these two states do not like each other. Iowa versus Minnesota at night, 630 going to be a fun one kicking off in Minneapolis. feel like we got to throw out Michigan State at Boston College. Again, this is at night. This is the Red Bandana game in honor of the 9-11 story. The Boston College graduate, can't remember his name off the top of my head, but the Red Bandana game, it's an emotional game. It's a big game for Boston College. That stadium should be rocking on Red Bandana Day. Michigan State, they're one of my favorite watches because of that quarterback, 18-year-old true freshman Childs, I think is how you pronounce his name. Great athlete absolutely sporadic, sprays it all over the field, but he's been getting better every single week. And if he can continue to put it on and put it together, they have Ohio State next, but can they get to 4-0 and and have a really, really fun start for the Michigan State Spartans under their new head coach that came over from Oregon State? It'd be a good story. I'd love to see it, but Good luck beating Boston College on Red Bandana Day. That'll be a fun one. Make sure to tune in for that one. And last, probably least, but you got the nightcap, 9.30 p.m. kickoff. Kansas State heads to BYU. Kansas State is obviously better than BYU. They have more talent. BYU isn't that good this year. But weirder things have happened in Provo, Utah than somebody walking in there at night and catching an L. I don't know what happens. I don't know what they do. It's not as powerful as being at Utah, but being at BYU, something happens there sometimes. And Kansas State better watch out. They're on upset alert. It's only a a 6.5 point spread. It's only a a 6.5 point spread. That tells you all you need to know. Kansas State, Avery Johnson, First big road test in that sort of environment. That one's going to be a lot of fun to watch. Worth staying up late. Got to catch a few minutes before you go to bed, all right? So don't forget about that one as well. And I think I've said last but certainly not least several times now, Arch Manning will be getting the start for Texas against Louisiana Monroe. Might want to tune in for that one. So that's what I got for tonight. Looking forward to the college football weekend. Cannot wait. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it for all of us here at Garbage Time Sports. Have a great night.